Hi guys and welcome to this week's vlog. I find myself in God's country. I'm in Wales. I'm in Ogwin Valley. And I've got to tell you, it's freezing cold. It's May and it's freezing cold. And now for a massive mountain climb. Potentially, I think I've seen a nice shot. Um, there's water cascading from the right hand side from the left hand side, and they both meet here, if you can see, just behind me here. Obviously, getting across here is going to be the challenge. But I'm going to have to move fairly quick now because, surprise, surprise, I'm running out of time, I'm running out of light. It's the first time I've been here, and I don't want to start trekking back down in the dark. So, all right, okay, easy. How do I get over there? I'm moving so quick here. Like I said, I've just put that fork in the water and I've grabbed the shot. I've just basically taken a panoramic shot of five images from F11, ISO 100. And I think, I can't see, I've got my glasses on. I think I'm at about a quarter of a second either that or about a tenth of a second there or thereabouts just to, uh, just to put a little bit of movement in that water and that's it so i'm done now i'm just going to head further up I think next time I come here I'm going to arrive a little bit earlier, maybe travel a bit higher up. But uh, no, I really like this. There's a fantastic waterfall cascading from the right hand side into the frame, into the left hand side. So I'm using that as foreground interest with the waters forming as a leading line all the way out to the lake and of course that fantastic mountain in the background which is just absolutely amazing. Now I'm meant to be meeting my old pal Jason down here today but unfortunately Jason couldn't make it through uh, through personal reasons uh, so really sorry about that Jason but uh, you know when you get it in your mind and your mind set I'm going somewhere well we were going to come here today and take some pictures anyway so I decided I'm going to come here without Jason sorry Jason never mind we'll just go somewhere else next time looking forward to that already and Five minutes ago, even though it's 15 minutes away from sunset, a massive RAF Hercules just wandered through and I was in the middle of taking pictures and didn't have my video camera with me, absolutely gutted. I travelled out of the Mac Loop at least once a month to photograph these damn things and uh, wow, that was pretty spectacular. Coming right through, right through the valley, right through, right through, right through the valley there. Spectacular. Short, sharp and sweet this week guys. I've grabbed a few shots, but uh, it really is tricky underfoot. Uh, it's very wet and it's very muddy. And uh, 
this as you'd imagine obviously walking up a mountain but I'm here on my own and it is very tricky and it's it's all too easy just to have a slip bang your head or something daft like that and before you know it search and rescue are looking for you and either you feel like a right dumbass or you're dead so uh, as much as I'd love to stay here for another another 35 40 minutes or so just to catch that sunset and maybe into blue hour it just means that I'd have to walk back down through this tricky terrain uh, in the dark I've got a torch but it really is very very tricky underfoot and I just didn't fancy that so this week short sharp sweet I said that was it but on the way back down I spotted this tree here and uh, I thought it looked quite nice actually it's not too big but I thought to give it perspective let's get close to it let's get low down with a tripod and make it big in the foreground and I think that would be quite nice Two and a half hours to drive down here. <clears throat> I'm just getting over man flu as well. And two and a half hours to drive back. But do you know what? Just look at this. This just makes it all so worthwhile. What a fantastic place. Jason, I am so jealous of you coming to places like this week in, week out. Although we've got the Lake District, this is just absolutely phenomenal hat off to you the only bad thing about this and i do feel bad about this now is i'm leaving because it makes a lot of sense it's not big and it's not clever to try and navigate this mountain although on this on this camera here it won't look anywhere near as tricky as it actually is to walk um, but the annoying thing is as i'm actually leaving five minutes before sunset and you just know over these mountains up here it's gonna glow red and orange you just know it but uh, I think I've got one or two pictures in the back and it's always always safety first